Hello, J Dell here. Got my little recap going on. How's everybody doing? Gonna get right into it. So I did this right. I did the predictions last week for UFC 123, and now I have the results. And I'm glad I didn't have any money on it, cause I did horribly. Yeah, uh, <laughs> my boy Joe Lozon lost. Uh, <laughs> And actually, I missed that fight. It came in a little late, but he lost. Um, uh, real quick, Phil Daly, someone I haven't seen before. He, his fight was incredible. I, I don't think I've ever seen a fight get stopped by the ref because of leg kicks before. First off, this guy's stand-up was vicious. I mean, just punches, kicks, landing everywhere. This, The other guy was pulling guard. He knew he had nothing for Daly stand-up. Nothing at all. And when he would get into his guard, he would get him on the ground. And even from his back, you could tell that that's where that guy was co uh, comfortable. He was trying all kinds of submissions, and you know he had the high leg guard, and you know the the triangle guard, and he was just trying all kinds of stuff. And I was like, dude, Phil, why are you even wasting your time in this guy's guard? You are smashing him standing up. So eventually, he just started standing up. Every time the guy would take him down and all that, he would just stand up and just well on that leg. As soon as he knew he had that leg, he would kick him. And the guy's leg would give out and he would fall. Like, it was kind of sad to watch. I was glad the ref stopped the fight when he did. It took about three good times of him kicking him and falling. Immediately, the leg was completely gone. The leg was gone. So, just uh, one to watch. His stand-up. Vicious. Okay, Gerald Harris, my other boy, lost. Got his ass whooped, too. But it was kind of lame, okay, because the first two rounds, the guy, I mean, uh, started with an F, the last name. I don't really remember. I didn't like him. I'm going to tell you why. So he's whooping his ass, right? He was getting the best of him standing up, and when he got him on the ground, that's when he was really getting the best of him. Beating him down, ground and pound, getting the position, uh, side control at one point. Uh, at the end of the second round, he, Gerald was saved by the bell. He actually had him in a choke. Saved by the bell. So this guy uh, was owning him on the ground, okay? Beating him anyway. Just like I said, he beat him. And then the third round, he knew that he was winning, he knew he'd won the fight, basically, so he did nothing. Like, nothing. Uh, Gerald, of course, was cautious because this guy just was whooping his ass the first two rounds. So he's picking his shots, trying to go in, go for takedown here and there, trying to do something because he needs, he needs a submission or a knockout, period, to win this fight. And the, the other guy, he wouldn't even counter. He wasn't even throwing any counter shots. He was just getting out the way, running away. A little quick defense, running away, just screwing out. Basically ran from the whole third round. The crowd was, like, fiercely booing. It was lame, not in the spirit of the sport. It was lame. And it's like Joe Rogan said, uh, you're never going to get a title shot if no one wants to see you fight for the belt. Yeah, you know, hey, there is. Fanfare does play a role if the fans want to see you fight. If they don't want to see you fight, they don't like the way you fight. <laughs> you know, so that was just kind of lame. All right, uh, Carl Parisian lost, and I really didn't pick him to win. I just was one to watch. I wanted to see if he'd either be the sharp, aggressive Caro or the bum, and he was the bum. The guy beat him in the first round. Holloman, ground a pound. He got all pissed like the ref stopped it too early. Dude, you lost. He was all sloppy, and it was the bum. All right. Uh, does anybody know? I think we gotta get right to BJ Penn Matt Hughes. Yeah, we're there. <sighs> okay, so I went against BJ Penn because I was mad at him. Okay, I'm sorry, BJ. I was mad because of the last two fights. <laughs> I always say he's the most talented, gifted guy, but his head's not in it sometimes. His head was in it. Before the fight even started, he was over there in his corner just amped up. One of the guys was like, dude, he looks like he's a little bit too into it. I think he might be too aggressive and maybe make a mistake. He needs to calm down. Went up in there. This is how it went. I picked up my drink, turned the top, fight's over. 21 second, knock, or, uh, TKO. Goes in there, catches him with the right, a uh, hard right. Knocks him down, gets on top of him about three clean shots to the face where his head was bouncing, and the ref had to stop it. Matt Hughes didn't even know what happened. He didn't know what he got hit with. He didn't know if it was a knee or not. It was a hard shot. Matt Hughes looked disappointed, and, and I, like I said, he's I never really cared for him as a fighter. But these last few fights, you know, he was making me a believer. He looked it great. He looked it. He looked great. <laughs> but BJ went up in there and just highlight reeled him. 
<laughs> That's going to be one of my new things. He highlight reeled him. Man. And BJ's back. They're all saying BJ's back, and now he's this puts him back in the hunt for the belt. However, what's he going to do if Frankie Edgar still has the belt? Because honestly, I don't think BJ Penn can beat Frankie Edgar. There's sometimes there's a fighter who you just can't beat, and I think Frankie might be that. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. So we'll see what's next for BJ Penn, but he beat him in 21 seconds in the first round. TKO. All right. Rashad Machida. Let me look at my time. Okay. Rashad Machida. <laughs> I wanted an exciting fight, and I actually liked it. Some people thought it was boring, but I liked it. The first two rounds, they were feeling each other out. Rampage was kind of the aggressor. However, every time Machida threw a shot, he landed. He hit leg shots. Very sharp, clean. I love the way Machida fights. He is... For me, he's a fighter that I really think embodies the art part of mixed martial arts. The way he's so elusive. Oh, talk about elusive. Man, such a great word for him. He gets in and out, and you really can't hit him. It's He's really just pretty to watch. A pretty fighter, in my opinion. Uh, Rampage won the fight, but I really just think that it should have been five rounds. I know it doesn't, you know, it's not five rounds since the title shot, but sometimes you just, some fighters, they're so used to fighting for the belt, like Machida's had the belt for a while, Rampage's had the belt a lot. Same thing happened in the Noguera, um, Randy Couture fight. A lot of people just thought, man, I wish there was five rounds, because at the end of three, they were both still fresh. It, they were just getting going. Randy won, but it was just kind of like, they needed five rounds, and this was the fight that I thought just kind of needed five rounds. Third round, Machida opened up whooped up on him, took him down, submissions, the hits, he was pounding him, just hitting him, tagging him. Machida opened up in that third round. Rampage had some counter hits, had his little shots in too, and when, he, it was kind of shades of old Rampage because when he hit him, he hit him hard, and you could see it, it was like, oh, that's shades of old Rampage, you know. So, uh, but even Rampage admitted that they needed a, a rematch immediately. So, and I'm looking forward to that. I would like to see a rematch immediately. And I don't know, the three rounds, with some of these fighters who are used to, Rampage used to fight in pride, you know, 10-minute first round. Uh, again, he's also had the belt a lot, so used to fighting five five-round fights. It, it just needed five rounds. I think with five rounds, we would have had a clear winner, and there would be kind of no controversy. All right. That's the end of that. All of overall, I think it was a pretty good event. I liked it. Uh, yeah, that's that. Quick uh, WWE Survivor Series, uh, Ray Mysterio Team 1, <laughs> Ray Mysterio Team 1, uh, Kane kept his belt due to a double count out, basically, a double pinfall. Him and Edge's shoulders were against the mat at the same time for the 1, 2, 3, so you can't, the belt can't switch over, so he kept his belt. Randy kept his belt, and John Cena supposedly out of the WWE, however, I think he's just going on vacation, because... He is the WWE. I mean, not solely, but you know. He's not out, okay? He's not out. The female match was pretty good. I'm always looking out for the ladies. I want us to just get better and get more vicious. And I liked seeing Natalia take on two chicks. I thought that was cool. She won. She beat Lay Cool. And it was kind of vicious. They took it outside the ring, used uh, um, the barriers and things, and got kind of kind of rough, which is what I'm looking for. I just I want the girls' matches to be credible. I want people to be into them, you know. At, they were getting there, then they like fired all the good wrestlers, the rough wrestlers, and issued in the whole eye candy thing again. I don't know, but now they're trying to get back to the females really wrestling, and I, you know, I thought I liked it. Go chicks! All right, the Jets pull it out again. Ten seconds left. Oh, touchdown to San Antonio Holmes. Just they're killing me. Three weeks in a row with these last minute wins. <laughs> okay, that's it. Ladies, make your own money, sign your own checks. Goodbye.